Welcome back everyone. This is the third part of our multi-part series in creating a booking app. In the first two parts, we covered creating an account and setting custom daily availability for Monday to Sunday. Today, we will cover showing available time slots for a user based on a selected date, taking into consideration existing bookings. Let's get started. So let's build out the view of the homepage where it allows another user to book a class. So let's quickly log out and I'm going to create a separate user that is actually the customer instead of the owner. So let's update this homepage to show the classes available. And let's delete a lot of these irrelevant information. Let's just have home. Let's, I'm not going to spend too much time on a UI perspective. This, this view, we are going to query all the classes available. Query collection, classes, and the list of documents. And then just in case that, so let's quickly delete these irrelevant information. I just set this as classes documents name and classes documents description. I'll just keep the, uh, the image there. I'll just make this smaller. Let's also create a class detail page for the user to book. So I'll just quickly use existing template. So class detail. That's fine. And what we need to bring into class detail is what class we've clicked on from the previous homepage. So we're going to call class reference and document from reference, document reference of classes. Now, once we've done that, well, we need to also do a backend query of document from reference, classes, class ref from our parameter to bring in information about the class. So let's go back to the home page. So when a user has clicked this container, we will navigate to the class detail. And then we have to pass in the class ref, which is the reference we clicked on. Uh, let's quickly add information about the class detail. Classes document, class name, and the description here. We can delete a lot of these information. Um, let's create an area where it will show the hourly class time we're available to book. So let's add a choice chip. And this choice chip will be um, based on the list of hourly availability we have, taking into consideration the availability of the class. In addition, what has been booked in the past. So to capture what we have booked in the past, we need to create another collection called bookings. And in this collection, we will store four set of information. So we're going to call it attendee ref. So who has book, who is joining the class. So this one-on-one -on -one class, for example, and it's going to be user document reference of user. And then we're going to call it class ref. So what class has been booked and then the host ref. Um, the host or the owner reference is who's hosting the class. So it's going to be document reference of user. And lastly, the book time. So what time is the booking? And it's going to be a date time. So now let's go back to the app. So what we need to do is basically create a custom function that checks existing bookings. In addition, this availability. So what we need to do here is let's just call this get available slots. So we need to create a custom function where the output is going to be a list of date time for that day. The inputs are going to be what are the existing bookings that have been booked. The art date argument, i.e. this is where the user has selected what date they want to book appointment for and the availability. So what is the availability um, of this class knowing the start time and end time. So I've already created a code for it where I simply use a combination of code copilot and chat GBT to help me. So what is basically doing is we're going to firstly identify this date argument where if it's Monday, we're going to look for Monday here and then identify this row. So Monday, there's going to be time available slots between 3 to 9 p.m. And then the next we need to do is basically create an hourly block between 3 to 9. So it'll be like 3, 
4, 5, 6, all the way to 9 p.m. And then lastly, what this code does, it excludes any existing booking for, the, for this day, for the day that the user has selected the argument, looking into existing bookings collection, which we haven't created yet. And then in the end, we're gonna return a list of time between 3 to 9 p.m. where there have been no bookings made. And this is available for the user to book a time slot for this choice chip. So what we need to do now is basically add a date picker, which allows I a calendar, which allows the user to select what day they want to book the class for. So the initial date, when we first load the page up, it's going to be current date. Let's just quickly change this to a weekly view. So it's a bit smaller. Let's drag this up above the choice chip. So here, when we first load a page, it's going to select the 10th of September and then it will spit out all the choices available for 10th of September, which is a Sunday that don't have existing booking. So let's create the list of times available to be booked based on a specific date we've selected. So what we need to do is also pull out the existing bookings. So here we're going to pull out a list of documents where the class reference is equal to the page parameters class. So this will find all the existing bookings for this class. And what we need to do here next is add the options. So we're going to leverage the available slots custom function we just created. The booking is going to be from our bookings document where we're going to map list items and items we're going to get is the book time. So this will pull out a list of time that has been booked and the date argument here is going to be from our widget state from this calendar view and we just press start and then the availability this is going to be from our classes documents availability so next we're going to select map list item and then we're going to select item in list with a date time format of jm just to be just to look nicer and now press confirm. So next we'll test this app out just to quickly check. So, so today is a Sunday. We have set the availability of this class between two to 5 p.m. It is currently 3.34 p.m. Therefore the next available time slot is 4 p.m. So ideally this will only show 4 p.m. as available. So let's go to here, 4 p.m. Perfect. Now let's click Monday so going back here, Monday, our availability is between 3 to 9 p.m. So when we click Monday, here we can see here, there's a one hour class of three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no class at 9 p.m. because the last, the class is concluded at 9 p.m. To recap, we have covered creating an account, setting daily availability for Monday to Sunday, and showing available time slots to book based on selected date, taking into consideration existing bookings. The next and final part of the series will cover the actual booking process based on the user's choice of time. Remember to comment, like or subscribe to keep updated.